rich dad cash flow game in this video ladies and gentlemen I am going to teach you how to find the richdad.com website, how to click some buttons on the richdad.com website, and how to have a fantastic journey into the Rich Dad cash flow game. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, Brent, how can that be possible for you to do all that? with just a limited amount of a hundred years of, of life on earth. I know, I know, I know. I know a lot of people are wondering that. But instead of answering that question, I'm just going to get right into actually doing it. So the first thing you do is you go to your handy dandy internet browser. Whichever one you want to use, it doesn't even matter. You just have to have an internet connection. And hopefully I don't have to state the obvious, the ob obvious but you do have to have um, uh, electricity hooked up to it somehow. Somehow it has to be powered. So you go to your handy dandy internet browser. You type in richdad.com. You don't need to do www. You don't need http colon s backslash anything like that. For some reason the internet magic just takes care of all that. See that? It just puts it all in there for you. Wow, isn't that amazing? And then you go to sign up. But pretend that I'm clicking sign up instead of log on. Just pretend, okay? And then you put your information in there. You create a passcode for yourself. And then you click sign up and pretend I'm clicking sign up. That's it. I know. Again, you're wondering, oh my gosh, Brent. How did you get that done in less than five minutes? Took some premium thinking for like 45 years to be able to do this in such a short amount of time. I don't expect you to get it really quickly. But if you do, you know, pat yourself on the back. Good for you. However, I, I did say we're gonna. Uh, there's more to this journey. So I can't end this video now. We gotta keep going. We find this link. And if you want, you could download this. You could, it's yours free yours free you can download it go ahead download it however for the sake of the game I'm gonna click this button now when you're watching this maybe this link is somewhere else if it is you have two options you have more than two but I'll just list two for you you could throw a temper tantrum you could scream it up to the heavens that the link is moved that is your option if you want or you could just look around and find where they moved it to Now, once again, life confronts you with another option. If you're not sh sure where to start, maybe you should start by this quiz. However, if you're sure you want to play the cash flow game, which is showing, shown right here, this is the box. In order to play the game, we got to open up the box. We have to take the board and put it on the table. We got to take out these pieces and put everything around. And then we're gonna have to pick a dream. I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna pick stock market for the kids. And it, and when I click anywhere to continue, it will conveniently be the first option for me. In order for me to get my dream, I have to get onto the fast track. In order for me to get on the fast track, I gotta get out of this rat race. In order for me to get out of the rat race, I gotta make some money. And incidentally, Another way you can win the game besides landing on your dream is making some money. So let's click anywhere, like right here, right on stock market for the kids. Oh, look at that. We'll create a new room. I'm going to call my room IAL. And I suggest you call your room IAL. I suggest you use this very, very sneaky passcode, whatever it might be. Then you click this button, create game. You can wait for your party in the lobby if you so choose and listen to this fine lobby music. And when you're ready, you begin. As I mentioned, I'm going to choose stock market for the children. However, I fooled you, I fooled you. The whole time I knew I was going to gift of faith. I knew it, but I fooled you. And now please don't hold it against me. I know I'm going to get all these thumbs down because I 
fibbed a little bit. If you could just, you know, enjoy a comical experience with that. I'm choosing Gift of Faith. You can choose anything that you want. I'm going to choose to lower the volume just a little bit. Let's see. What, what person am I playing? Airline pilot. Woo, doggies. I got some big total expenses. To get out of the rat race, I need to get this passive income higher than this total expenses. This is a financial statement. You got income, expenses, assets, liabilities, and all these things change throughout the game. And you can learn about this financial statement. And you can put your own numbers into position here. And I highly suggest you do. Woo! First thing I get hit with some golf balls. Actually, I'm buying the golf balls. I guess I'm going to be slingshotting them at other people. You know, I got a bigger slingshot. I don't, don't want, I don't just use um, marbles and I use golf balls. So, I'm going with a Smallio deal because they're $5,000 or less and I have three eighty, dollars just like the... All right. I'm probably going to have to pass on that, even though that's a great deal. Did you ever hear the story about the butterfly? <laughs> you probably thinking, which one? Which one, Brent? You know how many stories I heard about butterflies? Everybody's telling the story about a butterfly. Can't go on to the internet nowadays and not hear a story about the butterflies. Ooh, really close to getting downsized. You know why I'm doing this? All right. Speaking of butterflies, butterfly, you know, it starts off as a caterpillar. This is a tree. And the caterpillar crawls up the tree. And the caterpillar eats leaves. And then it spins itself into a cocoon. And then, then it's a butterfly. And then it has wings in the back. And it's got to flap these wings. And flapping these wings breaks itself out of the cocoon. And the wings, in order for the wings to develop so the butterfly can fly around your yard, the butterfly needs that resistance. So I can't tell you everything about this game, ladies and gentlemen. That would be like kind of cutting open the butterfly cocoon a little bit. And then the wings wouldn't fully develop. I gotta let your wings develop. So let me just let's get, get, let me just point you at something, right? Cash flow, two hundred fifty bucks. Down pay, two thousand. Cash in hand, cash on hand, one thousand. Loan amount, one hundred. Cash flow, two fifty minus one hundred. So afterwards. Look to see where things changed and start your learning process. That's the story of the butterfly. That's the story. That's the story. That's the story of the downsides. That's the story of the downsides. I'm gonna downsize this butterfly. This butterfly's been downsized. I'm passing on that. The reason why I'm passing, I'm not telling you at the moment. You know, look at this. This is this is my karmic bill. The karmic bill I have to pay for allowing your butterfly wings to develop on their own. Hot doggies. So, but I will pay that price for you, my friends. My fine butterfly friends, I will pay that price for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I repay some of this? What can I repay? Eh, could repay it all, but let's just go to paying it off. I donate to some charity so I can roll one or two. 
Die dices. Do you prefer when there's more than one dice? Do you prefer to say the number and then dice, or you do you prefer to say the number and then die? Which one? Which one do you prefer? <laughs> Braces. Downsize. Dang it. Gotta take another low one out. Hobble nobbled. I'm hobble nobbled. I'm in hobble nobbled in the down decision. And I'll pass it on that. I ain't buying no $20 stock. Start a part time. You know, I would like to buy that. I'm not going to take out a, not taking out loanages, loan loanages to to buy that. That's 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 my new um, slang word for loans. I just made it up on the spot. Made it up right here, right in front of you on the spot. And because I'm so witty with with that. The ladies, they dig me. You see that? They're making babies. I'm gonna buy that. Hitting the small deal. I'm just sticking with. I'm sticking with a thousand bucks. Sticking in that. Because of my. I got a plan. I got a plan going on. It was a business plan. I went down to the small business administration. Told them I'm playing cash flow game. They wrote a plan for me. I'm implementing the plan. Man. I'm so good at implementing plans. These babies. Pass it on. I pass it on. All right. Look at that. So, just 1,000. Oops. Oopsie. I want this one. I want that one. There we go. Just 1,000. Just a little bitty 1,000. Oh, little muffler. All right, I'm going to do something I normally don't do. I'll change it up. Hey, for the comment critics to say I always play the same way, I'm changing it up on you. Look at that. Look at that comment critics. I done changed it up on you. I changed it up. And holy smokes. Oh good. Business is up. Alright. Alright, good. Good. Let's cash out this stock. Come on. Sitting on a bunch of stock. It's not, not doesn't give me any dividends. I can't write and cover calls over against it. All right, let's see. Okay, just a little bit. All right, round of five. I pay that five thousand dollar loan off, freeze up uh, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Ah, 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 got a vasectomy. All right. All right. I'm changing it up again. Maybe it maybe changes up just going back to the old way. I don't know. I don't care. I don't I don't care. I'm doing it. You know why? At some point, if you're playing your cards right in the game of life, at some point, at some point, you 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 know what you need to do, you know, and just just do it. And basically, anyone that's got a comment about it, don't even bother saying fuck you to them. Don't even they're not they're not worth it. Just do what you need to do. And if people are making
comments on what you're doing, more than likely they're not doing what they need to do. So that's enough. That that in and of itself is a bad karmic payment for them. So just do your thing, my friend. Do your thing. Get downsized. You know, whatever. I got some cash on hand to handle that downsize. Not that I, I want to do it. Snikes, man. Man, 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 man. Nah, just not working, right? It's just not working. You look at that cash flow. I'm going to buy that. You know, loan payment. Just just not going to do it. Want to be prudent. What we got? Any loans to repay? Nah. Look at that. All right. Small deal. I was hoping to sell something. What do I want to sell? I'll get rid of this. Cash that out. But you know what? If, I, if I'm getting close to... Ooh. All right. Let's see. Rent house. Let's sell them for... Okay. This might be a game changer for me. Okay. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, this one. Sell that one. Sell this one. So basically, I'm selling the the two that, attempting to sell the two that give me the least amount of income. And uh, I'm not I'm not going to be so worried about cashing this out because a lot of times when I'm around this hundred thousand uh, amount. You start clocking these big deals and things generally go pretty fast. See how that just bumped up? You know, one thing that that um this game continue continuously inspires me. Here's another one. See what I mean? It just see what happens. It only takes one deal to change your life. Now it might take a long time to create a life where you have the ability to to be in the position to get that deal <laughs> but it literally only takes one deal to change your life just one deal can change your life it's really quite amazing so you know some people they'll say well you just could take a long time you know what what, what is uh do i got an apartment well golly gee i guess i do Sell it for, and but if I sell that, how much? Of, what's my? Nah, eh, I don't feel like selling it. Yeah, I mean, I I get it. I'm gonna have a lot of money, and I could probably buy some stuff really quickly. Nah, nah. I think it's. Half a dozen of one, six of the other. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. I don't. I don't think it really. I don't think it really matters. I mean, I, there, maybe there's one way that, that's better. Who knows? I really give up. Whatever. I feel like I'm pretty close to winning the game, or at least getting out of the rat race. So. Maybe that would have got me out of the rat race faster. But, um... I can tell it's not going to be, you know, too long. Right? It's not going to be too long, so... I would rather hold on to that apartment building. It's give me, like, 2600 a month. <sighs> because of that. All right. Ooh, 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 if I wouldn't have did that little tricky doodle in the beginning, I'd be, I'd be out. I'd be out, skis. I'd be doing something else. I'd be uploading this video and then might as well buy this gold mine. Okay. All right. All right, halfway there. Halfway there. But instead, I'm going to land on this dream right there. Ah, so close. So close. Roll a one. Roll a one. One. Yeah. Alright. Okay. 
Roll a six. Roll a six. Okay, a two. I'll take a two. I just didn't want to hit that. That divorce. All right, getting close. Getting close. Boom. Won the game. Don't let people... Don't let people open your cocoon. You gotta be able to ask for help, but at the same time, you have to have this balance. Like Robert Kiyosaki says, there's three sides, three sides to a coin. The head, the tail, and the edge. You gotta stand on the edge. You gotta know when to get help, and you gotta know when you need the resistance of your, of your wings so you can mature and grow into the beautiful human being you're on earth to be. You guys have a fantastic night. Bye-bye.